Hey, can we make this quick? I'm on my lunch break. Thanks for coming, Mr. Vesser. I I'm sorry for the short notice, but I got a call from Miss Matheson here, and I thought we should all speak, so thank you. Uh, as you know, the children were making Valentine's Day cards for each other, and some of them were not keeping in what I expected. What do you mean? She means this. Have you seen the card your son gave my Claudia? Oh, that's nice. It's a vagina with the words, I wish I was here on it. Yeah, it's a compliment. It's filth! Where did your son learn that language? I don't know. Bonin, I guess. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Matheson, civility. Please. I is that elbow macaroni he used for the clitoris? No, I think it is. I don't care if you use two quarters and a ball of yarn. Why would he use two quarters and a ball of yarn? Is that what your clitoris looks like? I'm sorry, am I missing something? Yes, you're missing something. The point. I took the liberty of collecting some of Jeremy's other Valentine's cards. Um, okay, look at this one. Dear Sarah, I don't really care if they say you have cooties. I bought a rubber. Now give me that booty. Oh, it's a pirate card. I get it. Oh, goodness. Exactly. I didn't realize it until you just read that aloud, but Jeremy's writing an iambic pentameter. That's so amazing. Do you have Jeremy in any special programs, Mr. Besser? We do watch a lot of A&E together, and pornography. Oh, this is madness! I demand that Jeremy be removed from this class as to not taint the other children. <laughs> taint. Miss Matheson, I assure you such extreme action will not be necessary. Oh, really? Okay, how about this springtime card? It says, uh, Dear Teddy, do you know the real secret about the birds and the bees? And then on the back it says, They were both dudes! This is condoned perversion. It's hideous. It is. Thank you. Mr. Besser, I apologize. Miss Matheson, I'll tolerate homophobia in my classroom. If Jeremy feels comfortable expressing his feelings, I'm not going to let narrow-mindedness get in his way. You make me sick. Homophobia? This is ridiculous. What, what about it on the back? It says, do you want to reach around? And then there's a little box for yes or no. What do you call that? Courtesy. Okay. You ever heard of it? What about this? It's just, it's just a blank piece of paper with the word tits on it. You don't have a problem with that? I find nothing objectionable about this. Terse, crisp, honest. I think it was Hemingway who said that the job of the writer is to write the truest sentence he knows. My boy knows tits. You both disgust me. I'm going to the board about this. Well, sorry. If wanting the children to learn is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Hey, some people would rather stay in the dark ages where nobody reads and kids don't have sex with each other. It's crazy. I know, but there it is. Mr. Besser, while I apologize for Miss Matheson's behavior, there is something troubling I need to discuss with you. Because these cards show so much maturity, I find it hard to believe that Jeremy didn't have some help at home. You know, it is against school policy to do a child's work for right. Mr. I Besser. can't believe you're saying this. Jeremy slaved away with glitter and lube for hours. Really? Well, then why did it take him three tries to find my G-spot? Just kidding. He nailed it on the first try. <laughs> that kid's a champ. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you're good. You, you teach him well. Oh, Cause he's great with his sister. Those are muskets.